Hi Leo and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lexa Taro and today I'll be channeling messages focusing on your no contact ex. How has your no contact ex grown since your time apart? Now, if you miss my social media announcements, and by the way, on my banner, you will see my official social media links. If you miss that announcement, I want to share with you now that I am now on Patreon. So if you would like to see the extended portion of this reading, just look down below in the description box. My official Patreon link is there. And also, uh, aside from creating three affordable tiers there for you, uh, Leo, I've also created a donation circle. So if you feel as if, um, you know, these messages have resonated with you or messages from, you know, the past two years that have resonated uh, with you and you would like to uh, optionally, again, it, it is an option, it's no obligation, but if you do feel you want to share uh, or contribute here in the donation circle on my Patreon link, please feel free to do so. There is that space to do that there. Now, uh, let's take a look here, uh, Leo, at how your no contact person has grown since your time apart. Now, before I begin, I want to introduce myself to those of you who are new to my channel. Welcome. My name is Alexa Taro, and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner, as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike for your love, your support, and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe so that I can continue to bring you these channeled messages. All right, Leo, let's take a look at the potential growth here from your no contact ex. Now, this could be a an ex-partner, an ex-connection, or an ex-spouse, but let's see here their potential growth here while you have been apart. And they have here B, which is community. Okay. So they have the community card here. I feel that there's been this sense of being very busy. Okay. Now I'm seeing two sectors here clairvoyantly. I'm seeing the, um, the career sector, and I'm also seeing kind of like working inner working. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about the career. This person may have kind of either expanded into their life purpose or their career. Okay. So why am I saying those two things? Well, their career could be their life purpose. So there may be, uh, there may be this kind of like blow up or glow up, right? Kind of like expanding, um, and abundance and prosperity in regards to their career. But I also feel here for those of, um, that may have had like a second, uh, hobby or, or a second job or a, a passion that's different than what their career path is. I feel that they have grown in that area. So if you knew this person to have been maybe in one sector of their career, they may have had a promotion. Um, if there is a kind of like a hobby that they, um, that they had or a passion that they had, they may have moved into, uh, kind of expanding that in their sector, right. In their, um, in their life. But I'm also feeling here uh, for others of them that the growth has been internal. There has been this kind of connection of them creating something for themselves. But it's more about that. What I'm seeing here clairvoyantly, it's like that hermit card in tarot. You know, that Virgo energy, that kind of like working within. Okay. Just like the queen bee is within the honeycomb. Okay. I feel here that this person is like they've worked on themselves, but it's that inner type of working here. Okay. That's how, that's how I'm getting this. I feel this person has grow has grown in abundance and prosperity in certain areas of their life. They could have even expanded their family or expanded their social networks as well. Cause I'm getting here kind of like, um, a lot of people around them, like community, right? They could have, uh, uh, kind of done something very like positive or taken a step in a community, uh, or a community kind of like community based organization, or they may have created a community themselves. Like, you know, they may have started created some creating something and like 
kind of gotten other people involved as well. So I'm feeling here this sense of like being very busy, being useful, okay, as well, kind of like they are important in whatever this community may be or this kind of either um, social, social network or community, all right? So I'm getting that as well. I feel that they're very focused on you know, producing abundance and prosperity. All right. So this person is really kind of in that go-getter energy. Um, I feel that they've also kind of increased their, it's like, there's something about them. There's this sense of charisma and there's sense of buzz around them energy wise. Okay. So I feel this person, um, has really stepped forward into their like inner knowing or sense of confidence, but I'm feeling kind of like this, the sense of like really focusing on something that's very passionate to them and it's kind of expanded. All right. So that could also here be this transformative growth here for your no contact X. All right. Let's take a look here at other ways your no contact X has expanded or grown since your time apart. And they have here snake. I mean, I'm not surprised here. It's like they've shed a new layer. There's a sense of growth here with your person. There's this maybe even when they were, you know, when they were with, when you guys were together, there was something here that was, I'm getting it like it was very unique about this person. They could, you know, whatever this may be, it could even be career or something that they really had a life purpose for. Like they always kind of were passionate about something. And I feel with your person that there's this untapped potential that they've always had. And it's like, now that you guys have been apart, right now you've gone your separate ways. This person has kind of like really tapped into that potential, that sense of uniqueness or that sense of charisma or sweetness about themselves. There's something here that there is this sense of advancing or shedding or growing. And that is because if you see here, there is a snake and a snake, in order for a snake to grow, it has to shed its skin. It has to shed its old skin in order to move in a new direction or to grow, uh, you know, and that's how, what I'm getting here. What I'm also hearing here, Clara, audiently, is that there's this sense of like feeling more comfortable in their own skin. There's like this sense of confidence um, that I'm feeling here with your person that it's like, not only is the solar plex energy kind of like vibrating here and kind of like, you know, creating this like energetic buzz around your person, but there's also this sense of, you know, self-confidence believing in believing in themselves knowing that there is more like there's this sense of abundance and prosperity that has either they have really worked on in order to achieve or they have now noticed that once they have shed this old layer of skin or this old kind of like old energy patterns or old mindset or old beliefs that there there is this sense of a of expansion here for your no contact X. Now, beautiful first messages here, um, Leo, of this person really expanding and transforming. I do have more to share with you. However, take a look down, uh, down below in the description box, and there you will see my official Patreon link. Click on there and take a look at the tier that focuses on giving you more on this reading. But in the meantime, just click here on the Lexa Tarot to be part of the Lexa Tarot family. Click down here and click up here where you will find more free messages and I'll see you on Patreon.